What are you doing, Wayne? Wayne, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm playing. <laughs> Will it light? In the comment section, pause it, answer. Will this solar light this bulb? Good morning, everybody. RV Prepper is Wayne here. Today, we're going to be putting solar on a 2012 Coachman Murata. Yes, this is Miranda the Murata. This is Nomadic Fanatics RV. We're going to be putting an epic solar system on here. We're going to be using the Vectron inverter charger, Vectron charge controller, and we have some solar panels that are massive output. Let's go check out and see what all we have that we're going to be installing. We will start off with the small stuff first. We're going with a Blue C battery shutoff switch, a 400 amp T style fuse, breakers for the solar panels. We have the Vectron battery monitor, and we have a bus bar that goes on there. That way we can add other grounding things on here and it still goes through the bus bar. Very nice to have. We have the Vectron MK3 to USB interface. We have the VE smart dongle, Vectron cable, uh, Cat5 cable to go from the inverter to the smart dongle, I believe. Uh, I may have it backwards. I think it's this one here. Uh, I, I got it wrote down. We have four 320 watt panels. These uh, are the exact same size as what Eric had on Yoda, but these are roughly 100 watts more. I do like these here because now they put uh, braces here in the middle. That really helps keep everything stiff uh, with the panel. Now this panel, let me show you the specs. Okay, it is 320 watts. Uh, rated voltage is 34 volts. Rated current amp is 9.37, massive. Short circuit current is 10 amps. Maximum system voltage is a thousand volts. Okay, and with these panels, we have breakers for them. This is going to be massive setup. Now, let me show you the inverter and the batteries. We have the Vectron Multi Plus 12 volt, 3000 watt, 120 amp charger. This thing is pure sine wave. It's a beast. It's heavy. It will do the work. Then we have a MPPT 150 85 charge controller. Massive uh, charge controller here. Now, here's the batteries. We're going with three Battleborn lithium batteries. These things are ultra light have plenty of power i'm sure eric is really going to enjoy the power that these things put out now we did uh already did a little bit of work in here yesterday trying to get some stuff laid out uh this gray board here was actually at an angle it basically blocked off the two tanks this is a vent line this is not a water line this is actually a vent line so there's no water in that. So what I did is I took that board and moved it to the back side. Kind of makes for a cleaner look in there and everything. And gives me a little bit of more room to mount uh, some stuff. I notched out for the uh, vent line. We're going to be changing this plug here out to a regular outlet type plug. And we're going to put a box in here. Uh, for this plug here. I do not like these 
pass-through type uh, uh, plugs here. They seem to uh, they want to short out and burn up, and we don't want that. We're going to change that out. But let me take you up on the roof and kind of show you here on the roof the real estate that I have on the roof. As you can tell, we have the refrigerator out. The reason I have the refrigerator out is two things. I'm going to be running the solar wires from the roof down through here, through both floors, and into the electronics bay. And also, I have the remote meter that we're going to mount over here on the side. Uh, we're mounting it kind of kind of low. Uh, what are you trying to say? We're going to mount this kind of in a low spot to make it easier to see. You don't have to reach up and everything. Up here it's going to be hard to, to see up here. It is up high. So we're going to mount it low and into the side. There's plenty of room once I mount the data cable to the back of the meter. It'll be completely out of the way. The refrigerator's not going to hit it. It's going to be tied up along with all the solar wires. So, I'm going to go up and run the solar wires. Oh! Okay, we have the meter mounted. It's in a good height. And they're nice and solid. I have my solar wires and the meter data cable run. I have it secured and zip tied down to the wall and I went in behind the wall here and came down through the false part of the wall. I come up over and went through a plastic loom that they already had and run the wires down into the electronics bay. So with all of that run, now the only thing left to do is put the refrigerator back in and get that part done. And then we really get to work in the electronics bay. That's where all the magic's gonna happen. That's the, uh, the tedious wiring of the Bluetooth controller all the connections and everything all down in that one spot there's a lot going to be crammed in that one spot fuses shut off switches usb dongles bluetooth dongles everything breakers so let's get this refrigerator in or how about me and eric will get the refrigerator in y'all sit back and uh have you a glass of tea we'll get this finished up and then I'll get back with you and I'll show you how we're working in the electronics bay. Look at that invisible wire. Nope. I sat here yesterday of laying everything out as far as switch, fuse, battery shunt. Mapping out how I'm running all my wire and everything. I sat here for a couple hours yesterday placing stuff in different uh holding it in different areas making sure everything's going to work out and the wires are not going to cross 
so it took me a little while yesterday doing that but I did get it done uh, I sat here like I said for a couple hours I went ahead and put all my ends connections on the equipment that way I can tell how my wire is going to how far it's going to be out what kind of bend I could have in the wire to be okay yeah that was fun but I got it figured out now I have to go through and start measuring for my wire and start cutting all my pieces uh, first thing I'm going to do is go with my uh, positive side I'm going to start from the battery to the master switch to the fuse from the fuse down up over now I'm not going to I can connect all of the uh, from the switch over I will go ahead and connect it that way it's all done but I will not have it connected to the battery just yet that's something I'll that'll be my last connection and then I'll go in and run my grounds from the batteries over now also taking consideration not only do I have to do this setup here I have to move some wires that's up under the steps as well so that's another thing working in this uh, electronics bay is taking consideration the other wires that have to come over where they're coming in and everything else it's not just put it in here start wiring it up and then realize um, something's not going to work right you're going to have uh, cables crossing and everything else so it takes a little bit of planning just to do something and do it correctly right neatly and safely uh, that is the biggest thing is is wiring something make sure it's going to be safe this is in a rv it does travel things do vibrate so you got to make sure that everything is is done correctly so i'm going to get in to start making all my cable ends and we will get into starting to wire some of this stuff up we also have to run the wire from the converter box inside to the uh, inverter and from the inverter back to the converter inside and if you also noticed I no longer have a plug up there that's all right I have it moved up over there this plug here granted this is not a GFI but this plug is on a GFI circuit so it's still protected through GFI circuit but it's moved that way it's easily accessible if he needs to use a battery charger uh, if he wants to plug stuff in outside he's got a plug right here that he can do it so let's get making some cables and have some fun a lot of people ask how I crimp my ends what I do I have a, uh, a hammer crimper it works just like a hydraulic crimper only manually spring loaded put my connector in there and I always have the side flat I make sure my wires in there and it's space good give it a couple taps just to kind of hold it in place There's my crimped in. Put heat shrink on it and then go off to the next one. I've got to do that like 13, 14 more times. <laughs> 